Welcome to Pedals and Stuff. So first of all, thank you very much if you are subscribing already. And if you haven't found the time yet, then just click on the subscribe button. That'd be absolutely awesome. And also thank you to all those people that leave comments because the comments are great and it helps kind of build a spirit of community. So I really appreciate all that. It's really cool. Thank you. Um, today, Thorpey FX. Thorpey FX building in Wiltshire in England. Very close to me indeed, Mr. Thorpey. Very close. Now, this is the bunker. Now the bunker is a kind of reimagining of a brown source pedal, which is quite an iconic pedal um, by Love Tone. So if you haven't seen them, kind of have a little look around, check them out, they're quite interesting, but very, very hard to get hold of. So to have a reworking of that with a few extra tweaks by a really solid pedal maker is absolutely awesome. So what we're gonna to do today is hear the pedal in a mix. So I've kind of chucked together a bit of a song, a little piece, um, yeah, be kind. It's just there to listen to. It's not because I think I'm an amazing player or anything, right? So be kind, as I said. Anyway, we're then gonna go through the main controls. So we've got a drive, we've got a tone, as you'd expect, a volume, and a texture. So the texture is really quite interesting. And we've also got a mode switch, a three-way mode switch. Again, pretty interesting. And to cap it all, a source button. What is not to like about that? A bit of source with your tone, yes please. There will be timestamps in the description if you wanna kinda of just jump about to the bits you're most interested in as well. All right, let's make a start.
My final thoughts, and they're just mine, just my opinion, okay? Um, I like the pedal. I think it's really, really versatile. Um, the mode switch is pretty subtle. It does actually say that in the manual as well, and it's true. So if you listen back to that clip, it's quite hard to hear much of a difference, probably very hard on YouTube, but there is a definite difference in the kind of treble frequencies. So the mode switch is quite interesting. The texture dial, I quite like this. It is pretty cool. However, I'm not massively fond of anything much further than kind of three o'clock. I much prefer it rolled back up, you know, more like 10 o'clock and so on, right? Because I prefer it basically um, counterclockwise or anticlockwise rather than rolled up full and that and it's interesting because in the manual again it says kind of rolled up full towards the end of its dial is where the original brown source sounds can be found so that's really interesting for me because i prefer it the other way as you roll it off you get much more harmonics it's much more harmonically rich much more interesting a sound for me so i would definitely be using it 
at the uh, the kind of the first half of the dial stage. Um, the tone does what you think it will do. It's kind of smooths off or you know adds treble. Um, and the source button is a nice addition. Gives you a nice little boost. Basically bypasses all the tone stuff. Particularly like the source button when you got the drive up high. I think it gives it a nice extra little kick. So yeah, overall, a very versatile pedal. I think you would need to spend a good amount of time with this to get the sounds that you would love from it. And that's the thing now, isn't it? There's so many pedals out there that have got lots of different switches and stuff. And actually, personally, I prefer the ones that just do one thing and do it really, really well because I know I can just get a really good sound out of them quite easily. I don't really want to have to fiddle with lots of switches and stuff. But you know, the flip side of that is they're really versatile and you can get loads of to tones out of them. So you just need one pedal instead of three or four or whatever. Okay, so yeah, check it out for yourselves. I think that Thorpe has once again done a fantastic job here. And I'm not even gonna bother talking about the build quality because you just don't need to. Right, enough said. Um, yeah, there we go. Thank you very much for watching and I will catch you again soon. Take care.